How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in today's video we're going to be bringing you a fantastic quick and easy optimization which you can apply to any PC whether it be high end, low end, old or new running Windows 10 or Windows 11. In this video we're going to be quickly setting up a fantastic and easy to apply optimization which will be able to stop the Windows game bar from being able to initiate. This is known to be an incredibly effective optimization which can help you fix micro stuttering in many games and on a lot of PCs. This is also fantastic for those of you that are getting high FPS on games but the FPS feels Feels quite choppy. It's very quick, simple, and easy to set up. So, without further ado, let's get straight on into the optimization and how to set it up. As always, if you are happy with this video and are happy with your results, please do consider leaving a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm as it does help me out tremendously. With all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount? Head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home, or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. Before we continue on with this optimization, I'm quickly going to note that the optimizations we're going to be setting in this video are incredibly easy to both turn on and turn off if you want to revert them for any reason. If you don't want to spend time reversing any of the settings in this video and you want to do it very quickly and easily, you can quickly set up a system restore point, navigate into your desktop, then select the Windows button. Then just simply search for restore. Select create a restore point, locate your local disk C drive, select this, select configure. Make sure that turn on system protection has been enabled at the top, set your maximum usage to about 5%, select apply, select OK. Select the local disk C drive once again, then select create, and we can then name the restore point. We'll just call this optimize. Select create, and after a few short moments, the system restore point will then be created. At any point after this video, if you do want to revert anything back or you're worried you might have messed something up, you can do so very quickly and easily. To start off with the optimizations, navigate down to our file explorer. Again, this works on both Windows 10 and 11. Enter your file explorer. Head over to this PC. Select your local disk C drive. Inside of local disk C, navigate down to Windows. Once inside of this folder, proceed to scroll down to the S section and we're going to be looking for the System32 folder. Once inside of here, navigate to the top right hand side to search System32 and we're going to be searching for Game Bar. All one word. Then select Enter. The file in which we're going to be looking for with inside of it is going to be gamebarpresencewriter.exe. It should be the only one of these files that is an application. Right click and we can start off by going to open file location. Once you find the file location with inside of here, we need to edit this file to stop it from running with inside of Windows. But as it stands, even if you are the admin on your PC, you cannot rename this file without making a few edits to the permissions as it simply won't allow you to edit the file name. Right click on Game Bar Presence Writer, head over to Properties. Head over to the security tab. We then need to add our current Windows user, which we're logged into, to the security tab so we can make changes to this file. To do this, we're going to navigate down to the advanced section. Head up to the owner section, then select change. Inside of here, you then need to input the current username of your PC or the Microsoft account in which you are using. You can find this out very simply and easily by navigating down to the bottom left right-clicking on your Windows profile, then selecting Change Account Settings. Inside of here, you'll either have a local Windows account or you'll have a Microsoft account with an email, which you'll have to input. So if you have an email address with inside of here, input the email address. If you're using a local machine Microsoft account and there's no email address, simply note down the name of the Microsoft account and input that with inside of this box. So for me, it's going to be an email address, so I'm going to input that now. Once the name has been input, navigate to the right-hand side to Check Names. Your Windows name should appear properly, then select OK. Once that's then been added, select Apply. Select OK to any pop-ups, OK. Once that's then been set up, we've now added ourselves as an owner, but we still can't edit the file. So we need to right click on the file once again, head to Properties, Security, navigate down to Advanced once again. Under the Owner section, you should now see that this is now marked as your username in which you input earlier. We then need to navigate down to the bottom left hand side to add. We're then going to select a principal. Instead of this location, we're then going to input our account name once again. So whether that be an email address or the username in which you input earlier, match that. Select check names, then select OK. We then need to select the box for full control at the top. Once that's been selected, select OK. Apply. Yes. OK. OK. Now that we've now been added as an account with full control, we now need to give the ownership back to the system and not our individual account. So for this, we need to right click on the Game Bar Presence Writer once again, head to Properties, Security, Advanced, 
Go back up to the top to the owner section. We need to change this back to the trusted installer or what it was originally. So to do this, head down to the enter object name to select box and we then need to type in NT space service with a capital S backslash trusted with a capital T installer with a capital I. If you can't type that out properly or you can't find backslash on your keyboard, you can navigate inside the description down below to copy and paste that name. Once it's been input just like that, select check names. That should then be instantly changed to trusted installer, then select OK. It should then say that the owner is trusted installer, apply, OK, OK, OK. We should now be able to edit the file and the ownership should be given back over to the system and not our individual account as we've simply added ourselves as an account which now has full control. To stop this file from being able to be accessed by games and applications to start the Windows Game Bar presence, all you simply need to do is right click, select rename and just simply type anything after Game Bar Presence Writer. This could be a different bunch of numbers or letters so we're just going to input a few random numbers and letters with inside of here. Then select enter, select continue and the file name should then be changed. If at any point you want to revert this optimization, you'll simply just have to remove the extra letters and numbers in which you input. We can then go ahead and exit out as the optimization has then been applied. Before we close out of this video, I'm quickly going to be recommending one other way in which you can do this in which I also like to apply on top of that previous optimization. But we're now going to actually be turning off the activation for that application inside of the Windows registry. It's very simple, quick, easy to do, and you can revert it back very quickly and easily as well. So for this, you need to navigate down to your Windows button, type in regedit, then select the Windows Registry Editor. To find the file manually, it's inside of H key local machine. Navigate down to software, head down to the M section and find Microsoft. If at any point you are lost, do just look at the navigation bar at the top of my screen and make sure that yours matches mine. Inside of Microsoft, go down to the W section until you find Windows Runtime. Double click, navigate down to Activatable Class ID, double click, Navigate down to the windows.gaming section and we should be able to find windows.gaming.gamebar presence server internal presence writer. Double click on this option. On the right hand side you should then be able to see the D word value for activation type. As we can see that's currently set to 1 which is on. To turn this off, double click on activation type, set the value data to 0 then select OK. But as you can see, just like that, if you go to change it without editing your permissions, you won't be able to. So to stop this from stopping us, right click on the folder for Game Bar Presence Writer, navigate down to Permissions. We then need to select Add. We then need to type in that Microsoft account in which we used earlier. So for me, once again, that was my email address for my Microsoft account. Once that's been typed in, select Check Names. Select OK. Then select the Allow Full Control section, Apply. If that still gives you an error message, navigate down to the advanced section, head up to the owner at the top to trusted installer, select change. Input the Microsoft account with inside of here this time, then select check names, select OK, then select apply and OK. Select allow under full control once again, select apply and OK and you should then be able to make the necessary changes without any errors. Head over back to the activation type which we tried to edit earlier on, change this from 1 to 0, select OK and as you can see we've now been able to edit the activation type. The activation type being set to 0 will stop Game Bar Presence Writer from ever being able to even be activated by any programs, stopping it entirely. And I've had this turned off on my machine for about 6 months now with no issues whatsoever. Alternatively, if you don't know how to change this back or you can't really remember, you can just use the system restore point in which you set up earlier on in this video and that will revert everything back in which we changed. Once that's then been completed, again, exit out of your system, restart to make sure that all of the optimizations have then been successfully applied, boot into your favorite games and see if that has helped with your micro stuttering. If you have found this video useful and have seen some decent improvements to game stability, make sure to check out the two videos on screen now for further performance optimizations and keep subscribed to the channel for more optimization videos where you don't have to spend a penny to get the most out of your system.